What a beautiful morning. Welcome back. We're Flora and Note from She's Wonderflow. We got time. In this episode, we continue to explore Gatlipe, a tiny island in the south of Thailand that's part of the Darutao National Marine Park. We're spending two nights at the highly recommended Castaway Resort. We are excited and nervous because we are going to be trying scuba diving for the first time. We got everything here, at least to stay alive. And the time that we share makes it all worthwhile. Got this place. Thank you. On. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Look! <laughs> this is incredible! Wow! That is amazing. I heard about you long before we met You're winsome and you're young, at least that's what they said Underneath your glitter and your gold you can't deny the fact that you are growing old. Welcome to our bungalow. This is our deck where we can chill. We each have a hammock. This one is mine and that one is Note. So from here we have our sink over here and then some drinking water on the side. And then we have the toilet and also the shower behind over there. We have a storage area on this side just underneath the staircase. So in that corner, there is a safety deposit box. And it's really cool that this whole bottom level is the bathroom because you're going to be kind of messy and full of sand when you get back and you can just clean off right away down here before you head up to the bedroom. There's also a cute towel rack over here. I guess I don't really have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. I love the towel rack. And this is the upper level, which is also our bedroom. And as you can see, it is designed with a traditional Thai style with the mosquito nets, the bamboo, and the ceiling fans. Just behind there is the bed, but right in front of that is the lounging area, which has become our favorite place already. Wow! I just feel so lucky right now to be here with this beautiful view and beautiful wife. You never say that to me off camera. You have a thousand eyes that never fall asleep. Someday I will leave you when I've had enough of your beauty. We are here at the Castaway restaurant having a late lunch and waiting for a happy hour. <laughs> What's on happy hour? Buy one, get one free cocktail. Nice! <laughs> so we love the feel of this place. It feels like you're in a traditional Thai village. Everything is super chill, super laid back. I think you can rent bicycles. Yeah, and snorkel equipment or kayak or paddle boards. And there's a massage too. There is a massage center just over there and it's perfect because we're going to be so exhausted from diving tomorrow. It'll be perfect to get a massage. We should book one for tomorrow for, for sure. For sure. <laughs> they also have yoga classes several times a day. Oh, our food is here. That looks amazing. Mm. We, I ordered chicken lemongrass. Oh, this is your chicken wrap. Wow, and I ordered mango chicken wrap. <laughs> and yeah. you got <laughs> ribs and mash. The evenings in Gatlipe are so pleasant, so we decided it would be fun to walk down the beach to check out other beach bars. We walk by so many local families just enjoying themselves on the beach. We kept walking until we hit Zodiac Sea Sun Beach Bar. It's an awesome place to chill if you're into sunsets, deep house, and cocktails. And it was probably the busiest place we've seen on the island. Wow. 
We then made our way to the walking street to find some dinner. Maybe something that's not a horseshoe crab. It's a weekday, so it's pretty quiet around the walking street. As you can see, we were a bit indecisive until we walked by Madame Yuhu. <laughs> She's very good at marketing. She got us. What did she say to you? She she just said it's really good. If it's not good, you can give me shit five days straight. <laughs> and then she said you who you. And I was like, okay, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She got me at you. What an amazing view. And today we go scuba diving. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is 7 in the morning right now and we're just having some coffee. We are meeting our diving instructor at 8 o'clock at the diving center. We actually already went to the diving center yesterday to sign up and also to fill in some forms, liability forms and health medical forms. Trying out different gears so they yeah. should sure they fit. Trying out the gears and the fins. It looks really windy today though, so I hope we're gonna be okay. But note is prepared. I got my motion sickness pills. I have to take one of them before. 15 minutes before. 15 minutes before. This will save me. We're just waiting on our breakfast, so I'll just show you around the restaurant a little bit. Yeah, they do um, snorkeling trips and also dive trips and equipment rentals. So if you want to rent equipment, this is what it costs. So a mask and snorkel, it's not expensive at all, it's 100 baht a day and you can bring it around the island. Kayak would be 100 baht an hour, which is also not bad. You'd probably rent it for 3 hours though to explore a little bit. Oh yeah, they also have the bicycles that you can take around town. Which is very convenient because the roads are not, not that bad at all. Or you can walk, it's also not far. It's like 20 minutes from here to walk to Sunrise Beach or if you walk through the main road, it could also take you around 20 minutes to walk towards Pattaya Beach. to Lipe's underwater world which is extremely beautiful and now is the perfect time to dive because we're just after the half moon which means mm -hmm. there's marginal current okay. so it just again makes your dive a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. This is stop, mm -hmm. go up, go down, slow down, slowly. Ah. Everything we do in diving is slow. When we take our time we avoid any potential problems. Pull the mask to your face and then pull the strap back so you're not disturbing your hair. Okay, perfect. I should stay close to the paddy professional during my Discover Scuba Diving experience and signal if something is wrong. True. True. Okay, well done. <laughs> no questions? No. Not yet. Okay, not good. Yet. That's yours <laughs> for <a> later. <laughs> Okay, great. Let's go diving. Okay. Let's go. Just in case, I'm gonna take one too. I don't want to ruin our trip. I don't know why you're stressing, but I know that you will find enough time to be alone. Is depressing. 
We got our wetsuits on. Looking good. Okay, let's go to the boat. Tail. So again, if you see one of these, don't get too close. Uh, it's not aggressive, it's not going to come at you, but you wouldn't want to touch it by accident. Tube worms and Christmas tree worms, if you create gentle water movement in front of them, they'll retract into their tube and then slowly unfurl and come out again. Uh, barracuda, like the stripes on the body. I love barracuda, it's delicious. No, you can't eat them. Oh, no. No. Okay. And they're full of mercury anyway. Oh, really? All the larger predatory fish are full of mercury, so oh. actually they're really bad for you. I've been eating a lot of food back in some way. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah. We're just at the beach now, going to practice some beginner's exercises before we go out for a dive. them in here. I'm going to lift up the tank and I want you to pull down on the straps to make the arm. Okay, good. Better? Yep. Okay. Now, find your regulator. No? Yes. <laughs> Feel for the hose. Good. Into the mouth. And blow. Or press the bridge. And breathe. So we're putting a little bit of baby shampoo in the mask that prevents it from fogging during the dive. So we rub it round and then we dip it just once in the water. And then we're going to put it on. Now you remember how I showed you how to put it on? You want to hold the mask to your face first, then pull the strap back so we're not disturbing our hair. Good. We'll swim about 20, 30 minutes and then we'll turn around and we'll slowly come back to the boat. And we should surface. We just want to surface in the bay because out there it's quite choppy. We don't want to come up in very wavy water because then it's difficult to get you back on the boat. More difficult for you. And <laughs> Any questions? No. Okay. Okay. You awesome. Ready? Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Three, two, one. Woo! Where did she go? There she Yay! is. Yay! Awesome. <laughs> You're right. Good job. Not so scary, right? Some eyes that see me from the end. Right. Perfect. Oh, yeah, we got some video of you guys. Surface video. Not even from myself. That was incredible. Awesome! It's amazing oh, down there. I wish I, we had a camera with us. My God, it was so beautiful. But for our safety, it was good we didn't have our camera. We were yes. concentrated on your, breathing. Your, your hands were already busy. Yeah. <laughs> we are back at the dive shop now. It was an amazing experience. It's only the Discover scuba diving course, which is like super introductory no certification yet but it was eye-opening for us they got a glimpse of scuba diving and what it's like and i think we want to get our certificate so unfortunately we couldn't bring our underwater camera down with us because this is an introductory course and it's not safe for us to do so because we need to stay focused 
on our breathing, so stay focused on the instructor. I think the only ones where you can bring your camera underwater is like if you're like fully certified, then mm -hmm. you can do that. For those who haven't tried scuba diving before, we highly recommend. Mm -hmm. Just go with a dive center that you feel comfortable with. Um, because with the introductory course, you go through a lot of the instructions and um, like the instructor will guide you through the process and there's lots of time to get used to it, get comfortable with it. So just find a good dive center and just give it a try. Don't commit to a full course. To, like we didn't commit to a full course from the beginning too because we just want to see if we would like it. Yeah. Hope you guys still enjoyed our recap of our scuba diving experience even though we don't have any underwater shots to show you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment and also don't forget to subscribe. As always, have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye. What's the favorite fish you saw? The, the eel. What, what does it call? Moray, giant moray eel. Giant, giant moray, moray eel. eel. And the clownfish. They're really cute. The, the small one, the small one. The grown up ones are not as cute. Like they're going through puberty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> puberty doesn't look so cute. <laughs> I love the butterfly fish. Oval shaped. Mm -hmm. We actually saw a lot on these. Yeah. Parts. We saw yeah. most of it. <laughs> Most of the, but we saw quite a lot. Oh, these ones are really nice too. The red tail butterfly fish. We saw some of that. Bloopers. Let me see your lips. Wow, that's purple. <laughs> oh, I don't see it. Yeah. Let's see. 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 Let's Clownfish. And there's a loser. <laughs> no, we haven't used that one yet. We haven't used that one. That's for the advanced course. Pasiu. <laughs> Is it chicken? I think so. Why? I ordered pasiu with clownfish. Oh. <laughs> no! No! No? Oh. I'll, I'll stay with chicken. You though. know you're dying because <laughs> you have to eat ambassadors from the okay. ocean. <laughs> okay. Bottle opener. Oh. A little bit too big to carry around, isn't it? Yeah. It had a weird shape. That's not very easy to use. <laughs>